So I want to make this vlog as real as possible and give everybody an insight into my life and what it's like to live with what I live with. And part of that is excruciating. Um, I'm sitting here, I'm watching a TV show on Hulu, and um, I get this pain in my stomach, and it is squeezing like a vice, and it almost hurts to breathe. Uh, I feel a combination of, like, I'm nauseous and, like, I'm going to pass out. Um, it's hard to explain. It's supposedly pancreatitis. Um, I went in and had a surgery to fix the pancreatitis. And it's not better. It's not better. And when it gets like this, I can't move. I can't do anything. I can't function as a human being. I just have to lay here and either take some heavy pain pills or hope that it passes, but I don't know if I've ever had an instance where it's passed on its own. It's, um, it just stays until I take something to make it go away. Also, I notice as I'm talking, you can, I'm not very open about this. You can see I'm not missing a tooth. It's just broken. So... That's what that is. Um, I hate it. I hate it being seen. I hate talking about it. I hate people knowing about it. But I'm trying to make this vlog as candid and real as possible. So you get all of it. You get the pain and the... I don't know. Here are all the medications I take. But that's not all. You got pump supplies up here. Digestive enzymes back there. An assortment of miscellaneous things over here. So I take medications for sleep. more sleep, depression, anxiety, reflux and heartburn, sleep and diabetic neuropathy, sleep, digestion, and a vitamin to keep my hair, skin, and nails healthy. Uh, that is my daily regimen. Everything else is kind of on an as-needed basis. Uh, Anti-nausea pills, antihistamines, or anti-nausea, no sprays, antibiotics, these are my pain patches. This is to help me breathe when I'm having an asthmatic attack. A ton of vitamins that I should take that I'm not taking. More antibiotics. More vitamins. You name it, I've got it. Then we have the fridge. All that's medication down there. We've got 
Probiotics, we've got nebulizer inhalers, we've got insulin, and up here we've got more insulin. It's tr it's it, it's never ending. Everywhere I look, there's 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 medications. Surprise, surprise! More meds. That box is full of meds. That bag is full of meds. Those boxes are full of meds. That bag is full of meds. I think there's actually like two bags up there. Um, from hospital stays, from doctor's visits. So since this is kind of um my medication-centered vlog, um, I just wanted to say that I was really proud of myself. I think I've gone about three, maybe four days without having to take pain medication. Uh, and I'm a little bummed that tonight I had to break that streak. I had to take um, pain medication to deal with the stomach pain that I've got going on. Um, and it's a bummer. But that's also the reality of the life I live, is that I never know when I'm going to be crippled by the pain and I'm going to have to take pain medication and I'm just going to have to accept that that's my life, is any given moment I might have to pop some medication to cope with the pain because sometimes no matter how hard I try to stay it out there are some nights like tonight where I I just I can't do it I have to uh I have to have something to help me cope with it and um I'm hoping one day One day there will be a day where I can say I don't have to take pain medication anymore. There will be one day where I can throw those prescriptions away and not look back. Today is not that day, but you know what? I'm not going to give up on hope that somewhere in my future there is going to be a day like that.